So Manoj Kumar of India is our referee. Red Russia, blue Kazakhstan. Round one. And we are underway. We're in the bottom. Excuse me, the bottom half of the 80 kilogram light heavyweight draw. This one between boxers from Russia and Kazakhstan. A more compact figure. On the front foot, taking it to his opponent is Imam Katayev, 28 years of age, a reigning Olympic bronze medalist from the Tokyo edition a couple of years ago. That was delayed, of course, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Taller figure wearing blue, who just attempts a one-two combination that was repelled by the gloves of his opponent. Nurbek Oralbay. So the pattern set in the opening minute of this first round. The front foot stalker is Katayev. The back foot punch pickup. And just tagged by a left hand while on the ropes is Odalbay. Now holding and hitting from Odalbay. And the resumption after that stern talking to Odalbay. Packing and poking with that left jab. Katayev to, to take it to his man, not even. Oh, that's a solid right hand landed by Katayev, and again, I've seen this man take opponents out with a single shot. That's what he did en route to that bronze medal finish in the Tokyo Olympic Games, and he produced a third round stoppage on two occasions in his first contest against a man from Morocco. quarter-final stage before being outpointed by Ben Whitaker on a split beautiful counter right hand landed by Otto Bike but he's going to have to remain concentrated because Kataev can end the contest at any moment with a single shot so Kataev into his wheelhouse now looking to dig away with bent arm punches with Oral Bai on the ropes. And he's showing that he's no slouch in the physicality stakes, standing his ground when necessary, just clipped by a white right hand and looking to disengage. Sharp shooting left, right again from Oral Bai. He's using the space of the ring very effectively indeed. And launching his Sunday punch, that overhand right is Katayev. The burst of punches to the body from Oral Bai while Katayev was tying him up, up or attempting to tie him up upstairs. First round in the books, a very good round of boxing produced by the man in blue. This man had his moments, he was invariably the aggressor, but that aggression was neutralized by some, by some sharp shooting successes for Odalbay. So the scores in the book, and it is a 4-1 split in favor of Nurbek Odalbay. Judge number two from Argentina preferring the work of this man. into the second round then. Nurbek Oralbay moving with wonderful fluidity laterally both left and right. Looking to increase his head movement now is Amam Katayev and looking to box his way in rather than just launch big singles as he was for significant portions of the opening round. Trying to establish his own left jab. Can he double up and maintain two and three phase attacks in a bid to try and close the distance against this man wearing blue who is so adept at using the space of the boxing ring. Left 
jab to the body not too far away from Kataev. And again, being such a muscular individual, he's often the shorter figure. In and around the 80 kilogram light heavyweight division. Right hand over the top from Adobay. There's a solid single scored by Kataev. And again, this is where Kataev has got to get his hands free. He's been kept on the edge of range for such large portions of the fight. When he gets inside, don't wait for the referee to tell you to stop boxing and break. He's got to bustle away. Fire in punches from those active hands when he gets into his preferred territory of the inside of inside and, it, and it's oh that's a nice counter left hand landed by Kataev after some success for Adel Bay. but this is where he's got to get his hands free you can't wait for the instruction of the referee he's got to be blasting away to the body with his hands past Kataev there's a decibel level being dialed up by the fans here huge contingent of Kazakhstan supporters. Russia have got a fair number of fans in the house as well. And again, you see Kataev. Got to ensure that he doesn't become frustrated and that's what he needs to do. Bustle away to the body of the man in blue until the referee says break. Orobai spoken to about holding yet again. Left hand half hook, half uppercut wasn't too far away from Orobai. Is Kataev getting closer on a more consistent basis in the closing stages? There's a scoring left jab to the body from Kataev. Orobai's accuracy just betraying him there. Good work to the body by both boxers. The final word coming from Kataev, but then straight crosses and left hooks being slammed in by Orobai. Another competitive three minutes of boxing. Kataev has indeed got closer, but you see when he was made to miss, he was made to pay by a terrific two-phase attack from Orobai. Then the two men engaging in a trade-off and another riding crop of a left jab snapped into the face of Kataev from Orobai. Very good second round, a competitive second round. Remember the first was taken on a 4-1 split by Nerdbek Orobai. And I think Kataev did better, but has he done enough? to turn the tables in his favor. I'm not convinced that he has, for my money. Just waiting too long when on the inside, there was one portion of the round when he did let his hands go and dig away to the torso of the man in blue, but for large portions of the frame, he was put on the end of straight punches like that from Nurbek Orobai. Well, a clean sweep of the cards. My impression was that Kataev did better in the second round, but that is not how the five scoring judges see it. A unanimous verdict returned in favor of Nurbek Orobai, meaning that Kataev needs a massive final round to keep himself in contention oh, for a place in the gold medal bout. So into the third and final round we go. As mentioned during the oh, there's a solid right hand landed by Kataev. And as mentioned on his run to the bronze medal podium in Tokyo at the Olympic Games, he produced two third round stoppages in the quarter final, excuse me, in the quarter final and the first preliminary round. So he has the heavy artillery with which to produce the inside the distance victory that he needs. The Kazakh coaching team will be. More aware of that than anybody. And so Nurbek Odelbay will have to remain switched on, but he's got to engage. You see, he's managing the bout, managing the clock, managing the gap between himself and his opponent. But if he invokes the eye of the referee and picks up a warning, that could make things very interesting indeed. So again, not just concentration in avoiding the punches, but he's got to ensure that he doesn't pick up a warning from the referee, Mr. Manoj Kumar from India. And again, he's disengaging. There he holds his feet and lets a couple of punches go. But he's going to have to percolate his movement with punch picking like that. Terrific one-two to, to demonstrate to the judges and the ref that he's not running. But he's just demonstrating back foot boxing. We're beyond the midpoint of the third and final round. And Kataev 
and his task becoming more difficult with every passing second. Katayev trying to increase his dynamism, looking to bob and weave his way into range to unload with the heavy artillery that he, pos he possesses. There he's running to a stiff left jab. Nobel Kodol by inaccurate with his left-right combination. So too was the right hand swinging a miss from Katayev. And he bobs and weaves his way into range, but didn't commit to the punches. And Otto Bai floating around the boxing ring with beautiful fluidity. Frustrated is Katayev, just giving his opponent a love tap while being spoken to by the referee. It's the kind of thing siblings do when parents intervene to tell them to cut out the rough stuff. Somebody looks to get in a cheap shot. There, Katayev looking to unload a burst of punches to the body, but he's not able to sustain it. And everything's a single phase attack. Often it's a single shot attack from Katayev. He's becoming increasingly desperate now. Big swing and a miss is counted because it was seen by a, with ease coming from a country mile away by Otto Bike. Katayev, well, his quest to make it through to the championship final will see him eliminated at the semi-final stage because Nurbek Odobai has produced a very effective boxing display and Imam Katayev, this compact, muscular, power-punching light heavyweight could not get to grips with the ring craft and accurate punch picking produced by Nurbek Odobai during the course of that semi-final. Very good display indeed from the Kazakh boxer. Number five medalists from the seven boxes they sent through to the quarterfinals for Kazakhstan. And this man, for my money, will be contesting championship Ladies gold. Ladies and get the gentlemen, the winner of this bout by split decision is boxing out of the blue corner. And there is confirmation of a split decision victory. A 4-1 split in favor of Nerdbeck Oralbay. Imam Katayev comes away with world championship bronze, adding to the Olympic bronze that he won in Tokyo two years ago. Katayev kept on competing, edging the final round on a 3-2 split, but it wasn't enough to overturn the deficit that he faced. And so he has lost after three rounds of boxing on a 4-1 split to that man wearing blue. Nurbek Odalbay of Kazakhstan will go through to the gold medal bout in the 80 kilogram light heavyweight division where he will face off against the boxer from China. Fuerte Urbieke Tangliatan in a bid or in a bout to see who will occupy top spot on the podium. World Championship bronze and 50,000 US dollars for Imam Katayev. Nurbek Odalbay remains in contention for the biggest prize of all. World Championship gold here in Tashkent 2023.